Hi Robin with OxyDry and today this is a uh, let me turn this thing on here there we go this is actually a uh, guest house on a uh, very very fine piece of property right at the lake on a, in a very high-end area of Kelowna and uh, this house is worth millions I know there's a one just down the road from this house. It's uh, for sale right now for about over six million. And I don't know whether or not there's a guest house on that property or not, but that's the kind of uh, properties that are in this area. Now I actually already cleaned this section right here. So I actually got just called away for a few minutes there. So I'm gonna be respraying this because it's drying out too fast. But anyway, um. And so this is a very uh, high-end um, piece of property. I was actually here the other day, cleaned a bunch of furniture and an area rug, and I actually protected, put some protector on some furniture. I actually did a little video showing that part of the job where I was using the little Ryobi uh, sprayer, which worked really well. And actually the property management guy, I was just talking to him and he was just saying that, um, double check this oh yeah we're good and he was just saying that um, he put everything back together earlier today and the cushions and whatever and he says everything turned out everything turned out really nice he really really was uh, very impressed with everything and I've been here before actually uh, I don't think I've cleaned this before though first time cleaning the guest house but anyway so as you can see I did opt to use the orc uh, it's not my first choice for cleaning normally um, because well it's it would be a machine that would limit your uh, abilities speed wise and overall performance wise although it's a fine machine but uh, I'm really glad that uh, you know I, I have the arc because I really like it on steps. I used to use the steps on, and it works fine. It works it basically works exactly the same, but there's no handle on it. You have to get down on your hands and knees to use them. Use those. They work fine, but it work you're doing the exact same thing, but you you stand. So I think that's a better choice. But anyway, now as I'm cleaning, I'm using uh, I I pre-sprayed with uh, actually those Omega in that uh, sprayer that I was just putting on the carpet. Omega Citrus, and um, I'm using a uh, Glad Pad, Gladiator Pad, on the York. I find they work very well, and I'm and of course my York does have the modified Velcro uh, pad driver. It works great. And you can buy the Velcro, by the way, in case, in case you don't know, you can buy them from uh, the end cap store sells uh, Velcro sheets. That worked perfectly well. But anyway, this carpet is actually overall in very good condition. Very little wear on it, and just a few spots and stains that all seem to be coming out without any effort. I'm not sure what that is. It almost looks like a shadow, but I'll come back to that, I think. I have a feeling it might be that something was sitting there, but kind of weird. We'll deal with that in a bit, in a minute.
and then over in front of that bathroom door over there it looks like some of the carpet it almost looks like there's some color loss over there a little bit we'll find out when I get there but this is a pretty crampy little uh, um, area up here so that's why I I decided the Orc was a was a good choice for this, and it's nice to have that option. So those uh, lighter marks have now just disappeared. So obviously they were just little cleaning cleaning spots. So I took out some spots here, and uh, now I've just cleaned it, and they disappeared. Of course, I did vacuum this carpet before I cleaned it. Uh, and that's, of course, the standard practice that we would do in, in uh, virtually every job. I don't count on my customer to have pre-vacuumed, even if they say, or I know that they did, I almost, in almost every case, they'll still do it anyway. Because I don't know how well their vacuum is working, or how thoroughly they use it, how quickly they move the vacuum across the floor, and I'm there to clean the carpet, and I kind of regard that as my responsibility at that point when I walk in the door. The carpet becomes my responsibility to get the maximum performance out of the cleaning and I'm not going to count on what they did. Plus, I'm charging and expecting for that aspect of the service. So there was a bunch of spots right there and it looks like <coughs> they're all gone. <coughs> this over here for a minute all right well thank you for watching and have a good day